Hey folks, TechNivers here. Today we're going to be looking at an online application called Avention.io. Now, Avention.io is an amazing piece of software. Basically, you can build your own 3D printer from scratch, from the ground up, uh, right there in the browser with the individual pieces, and then it'll show you the price of the parts that you're using as you build it, and you can then hit the button, purchase the pieces, and have it shipped to your door. Now. Vention.io not only does 3D printers, it does CNC lathes and several other uh, machines. So we are specifically going to be focusing on the 3D printing aspect of it today, but I encourage you to take a look around and check out a lot of the other cool stuff that they have in there. That said, let's jump right into this video. All right, so here we have it. You can see this is Vention.io, and it is pretty much giving you a brief overview of what the site is for here. You can see it is pretty impressive and really, really fun to play around with. We're going to jump right into it. I'm going to go ahead and pause it here for a second because I have already signed up, so I'm going to enter my login credentials real quick. All right, now here you can see the full suite of Vention.io, and if you take a look around, you can check out some of the pretty basic things on the home page here. There are this section here where it says next step. There are quite a few tutorials. When you first start it up, it will run you through one of those tutorials and kind of give you the gist of it. And in fact, before we jump into making a 3D printer, we can go ahead and do one of these tutorials real quick because I haven't used this that much and it definitely won't hurt to brush up on it a little bit. Um, pretty, pretty enjoyable. Like I said, uh, it does use quite a bit of processing power. I know I was having a little bit of lag in it yesterday when I had a slicer and a rendering engine and a couple other things open. So I had to close some stuff, but once I did that, um, it works pretty well. So this is gonna be the extrusion tutorial. It says, let's take three minutes to build a workstation using our different extrusion profile sizes. Now this is one of the cool things about Vention.io is you don't have to make a machine. You can just build, say, uh, a workstation or a table or a chest or a ton of other things basically anything that you can use this extrusion for the frame for so we're gonna go ahead hit start tutorial and it'll run us through exactly what to do here so um, basically uses a lot of snapping we're gonna change the snapping increment which is located down here and to 11.25 millimeters it's pretty simple I already completed the first lesson so uh, pretty straightforward so we're gonna click here to expand that and then you have a bunch of different sizes so this is your regular V slot rail now we're gonna hit 495 and move our mouse right here and when we click on the end of this bar it tries to place it let's get a little closer Let's try that again. So we're gonna grab the bar. Okay, and once again, we're gonna try that again. So structural and framing. Set this to 495, and there we go. That's what we want to see. It should pop in there right like that. Now, uh, we're going to place one of these. So telling us to look for a bracket, pretty self-explanatory. Type bracket, select this 90 degree, and we're going to put it in here. And these are cool, these are pieces that will uh, just kind of adjust the frame. So left click here. So it said, let's go back and look at that one more time. This was giving me issues too, so in case anybody comes across this, it says left click here, uh, right where that little arrow points. It says click the X button to clear the results, but there isn't an X button there, so just click that empty spot. And it'll show up. So now it's telling us we need a light duty extrusion, 720 millimeters. Let's see this one, 
720. And as you can see, it's already got this model kind of all programmed in. It's just telling me what to do. Um, but everything is pretty much just drag and drop. Oh, it said misplaced. We want. Come on. Right there. Okay. Pretty straightforward. The other thing, though, is that you can see open the design structure from the bottom menu, see all the parts. So we get a tree here, we can see all the pieces. And if we click a piece, it'll jump to it and tell us what part number it is. That's pretty cool. And you can, of course, resize extrusions, spacer. there we have it so there is a completely put together workstation um, so let's go ahead and hit start a new design so there's some pretty cool stuff in here um, don't really need any of this category. Um, they do actually have 3D printers in here under manufacturing equipment. Not worried about tags, not worried about the email. So clears everything for us. Um, now if I want to check this out. Hmm. So I have the hot end extruder. I can start with that, throw that right in here. Uh, and then it looks like it's direct drive, this version. It's got uh, uh, and this part is not actually available because it's not changing the price. But basically what you can do is go and Say you want a bracket. And you can line it up and put it on there. We're not going to use that one. Let's see. They have a lot of plates in here. Let's use one of these. Um, we can start. And the arrow keys are supposed to rotate. Apparently it doesn't want to rotate. It'll tell you if it's not compatible as well. So sometimes that's a pain. Um, there's plates for monitor mounts. These would work well actually for a bed mount. Uh, and there are robot mounting gantry plates. Let's try that. And it's not going to mount either. Let's see what we get. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is kind of cool. Let's grab this. You can actually grab, they have uh, models for whole 3D printers in here. Um, and it's not going to let you see what the price is for that, apparently. Uh, what else we got? Let's see. No geared extruder. Uh, let's see some of the other parts. There we go. Conveyor rollers, motors, controllers, uh, 
all sorts of things like that. Um, there's even an ABL sensor here. Oh, and I can change the orientation of that. That's cool. We don't need that either. Let's see what else they got. Look, you can do cabling. So, all sorts of stuff. Um, the other nice thing is you can come in here and say you want the this linear drive. Uh, it comes in three different sizes. Well, let's do 585. And you can actually click on this part right here. Um, and there is a mount for it. And it'll click right to it. And then there is also, uh, we'll have these be 810, that's fine. Nope, that's not what I want. I want the, this. So, pretty simple to grab. And then you can, this gets mounted um, to whatever, say you're using, oh, we'll grab one. Let's grab this other piece first though. So the slide for the linear rail, pretty much grab and it'll drag and drop. You can do the same um, right next to each other, there we go. Um, so, and we can get rid of that clear the parts, structural and flint framing. So what you would do is grab dual slot like this. We're gonna need a bigger one. I believe that was 810. So let's do 855 so we can put some end caps on it. No, 810 will work because it screws into the sides. So grab this. actually click that spot right there and it will fasten it right there now uh, since it's not quite long enough we can click on that click the size and expand it to where we need it so um, pretty cool you can see um, that obviously this is not the most economical. The price to order all of this stuff, and I just have, <laughs> um, I would need another one of these, and then two belt drives for the X and Y, and a couple of other framing pieces. We're already at uh, $1,383 for these supplies, so it's a little bit ridiculous. You can obviously get them cheaper, um, but when you're done here, you can go down and simply get a parts list so then you have a list of all the parts that you're looking for so you can go and get all these parts put together in um, whatever your preferred method of purchasing being be it on banggood.com or amazon so um, lots of cool stuff to check out in here uh, i'm gonna take a look at the public models real quick and see i mean they got people give you an idea of about the average size. There's all sorts of stuff in here. Tools, keyboards, let's see what else we got. Control and motors. Hmm. Uh, different end of arm tools for robots. This is also very good for designing robots and things like that. Conveyors. all the models that I happen to have on hand and you can see if you look in here that some of them have different versions as well so um, a lot to look through a lot to check out this is a assembly line with rollers on it yeah so tons and tons and tons of stuff and that's basically the gist of it. I thought this was a really cool tool. Like I said, it is a little on the spendy side to order things directly from Benchin.io, but you do have that handy parts list so you can go on a scavenger hunt for yourself. 
if you so choose. I'm going to continue to play around with this because obviously I have a lot to learn yet as far as functionality and getting the pieces just where I want them. So I'm going to go ahead and jump back to playing with this and we'll see you guys in the next one. But don't forget to leave a like on this video, hit the subscribe button for future videos. We've got a lot more stuff coming out. And as you can see, we just made an improvement to our makerspace and there's a lot more coming. So uh, please, please, please hit that like button and ring the bell for notifications. And don't forget to check out my Patreon page. It's uh, www.patreon.com slash technivorous. And there you are. As folks. always, Thank this you. channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it for my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.